Photography is all about the idea and the technique in every genre you choose. Stunning images start from the time you conceptualize your frame to the use of tried and tested methods to create a vision of your own. Join us as we do some landscape projects up here in the second highest mountain in the Philippines, Mount Pulag. This is Digital Photographer. From the comforts of the studio, we go out to the adventures of the outdoor. In this episode, we teach you some unique landscape projects to try on your next trip. So for our assignment, we're gonna have a bus ride from here, going to here, and a little bit more here. So the mountains are gonna be our playground. So the time now is 10.07 uh, p.m. We are here in Cubao, Quezon City. So we take around six, seven to eight hours of bus ride to Baguio. So, see you tomorrow. Good night. It was about 6.30 in the morning when we transferred to AGP to Cabayan, our base camp. You know you're in Benguet already when you pass by a lot of zigzag roads and the only way is to go up. A hundred meters of walk, another jeepney ride, and more zigzag roads after we arrive at our destination. In this episode, we join the group One Portrait in their amazing photography project up here in Cabayan Benguet. Uh, One Portrait is a community of photographers, artists, and professionals who use their skill in photography to be able to give back to the community. One Portrait invited DPP to the formal opening of Mount Pulag Elementary School's first photography exhibit. The photos were not taken by professional photographers but by the students themselves as taught by One Portrait volunteers. Their playground? No less than Mount Pulag itself. Because they know photography, we chose three kids to shoot with us. Now that we have our playground, it's time to meet my playmates. So what's gonna happen is, we're gonna do some new landscape projects together with the kids that you also at home can try on your next adventure or your next family trip. These projects don't need any special equipment, just your camera and your kit lens. So let's get some action! For this project, you need to find number one, a good view with a strong focal point in the foreground. Like for example, the flowers here, on the vegetation. Landscape is not just about being on focus from the foreground to background. Sometimes it's also good to do intimate ones. So shallow depth of field is a good project to try on your next trip and adventure. So maybe you're asking yourself now, how can I get close-ups using just kit lens? Well, here's a trivia. The kit lens has very near maximum focus point. It's nearly macro, but it's not that macro compared to the real macro lens, but it can focus really close. Like for example, this one. 
you don't just have to shoot vistas with an extensive depth of field. In the right situations, using a wide aperture can add impact by making your viewer focus on one element. Our next assignment is shooting black and white. More unique landscape projects to try when digital photographer returns. Meanwhile, check out the first set of awesome images submitted by our viewers in our 24-hour submission challenge this week. Up here in Kabay and Benguet, we are doing some landscape projects that you can try today. We've done shooting some bokelicious images. So what's next? We're going to see in black and white. Our next assignment is shooting black and white. So hanap kayo ng magandang shape, ng puno, magandang formation ng clouds, magandang uh, texture ng mga Tanim, cabbage, carrots. Mas magandang shape. Mas very good. Okay? Game? Matara? Shoot! Now, another great project for uh, shooting landscape is black and white. But you may think that you can convert any shot with black and white later on, right? Well, the advantage of shooting black and white on camera setting is that you get an instant preview of what your shot and your image is gonna look like. So, black and white shooting, next project. Let's go! When shooting monochrome, you need a great composition to hold your viewer's attention. Look for strong lines, shapes, and textures as well as contrast and dramatic lighting. Here in a mountain in Kabayan, there's a scene that just unfolded. Vegetation, there are pine trees, the mountain on the other side. It's a whole big scene. You know, sometimes photography is all about what not to include. And the simplest compositions can be a better choice. So if you're in this kind of situation, ask yourself what to include and what to leave out. But the most effective approach is the minimalist one. Minimalistic images concentrates on shape, form, and sometimes color. So have this intention to form a simple frame. Sometimes, the simple oblong frame of the camera is not enough to capture the scene. Maybe you have more points of interest, or possibly a boring foreground that you want to avoid. Panoramic shooting opens up lots of options to create something different. Gone are the days when you have to carry big, bulky, and heavy panoramic cameras. In today's generation, most cameras have the panorama option, or you have manual stitching in Photoshop. But if you're gonna do it manually, like I am, you need a little help from your tripod. Create that stable panoramic stitching when you do post-processing later.
when you do letterbox landscape, there are uh, two things that you need to consider. Number one is all of your photos must be on the same level. Majority of the DSLRs right now already have the what we call the electronic level display. So all your stitch are on the same level when you do your post processing. Another one is if you do uh, the stitching manually like what I do right now, make sure that the next frame must occupy at least 25% of your previous frame. So you won't have that middle cut when it comes to stitching in Photoshop. Two tips guys. So if you think we're done, no, we're just starting. Because tomorrow, we're gonna apply the techniques on our way to Mount Pulag. See you tomorrow. And so the kids need to go home while we call it a day because tomorrow is gonna be a big day. From the base, we climb the second highest mountain in the Philippines and do the landscape projects we've just learned. That's next on Digital Photographer. But first, we continue to look the awesome adventure selfies our viewers submitted. We already practiced some unique landscape projects up here in Cabayan Benguet. Now how about applying them on our Mount Pulag climb? Good morning from 7,200 feet above sea level. So our target today is we're gonna reach the summit before 5.30, take some snaps, and do our four projects. So join us, let's go! It was 2 a.m. when we woke up for Mount Pulag Trek. We started early because we start from the village, which is a few hundred meters from the ranger station. Normally, campers will drop to the ranger station, trek up to the second camp, and spend the night there before trekking to the summit. Time check, it's uh, 4.02 in the morning at approximately 16.8 degrees. Come on, two more hours to go. <laughs> it was sheer silence that came into me when we reached the summit. Aside from the fact that it was really cold, like 5 degrees Celsius, the view is just. Oh, magnificent. I'm not the most adventurous person in the world, but this is just a fulfillment. I couldn't even shoot during my first minutes in the summit. The view is just breathtaking. I honestly forgot that I'm doing a TV episode. After those appreciation moments and realized that I need to shoot, I try to photograph the scene as much as possible before the golden hours pass. Minimalism. As you see, in our area here, the sun is up, so you don't need that tripod. Um, I'm at F9 at uh, 2.50. And as you see, I'm looking for textures and I'm looking for um, the shapes of the mountains. Uh, as the sun hits them so again minimalism it's thinking what to include and what to leave out so i decided to take out this part of the mountain right here and decided just to focus over here so minimalism
Upon walking here in the summit, we saw another beautiful scene. You see these mountains right here? There's a play of light and shadow that shows shapes and texture. It's good for minimalistic shots. So my setting here is I am at f11 at 1 over 125 of a second at ISO 200. I also chose to shoot in um, black and white because I want to show more drama. Check out my shot! Okay, next project is shallow depot field. In the summit, you see these beautiful flowers right here. I saw them and immediately I noticed this is good for shallow depth field. Again, get as close to your subject as much as possible and then choose a good background for it. Even though that it will blur, it will uh, affect your picture. So get as close as possible. And I'm just using kit lens. Remember, kit lens has a uh, near maximum focusing point. So take some pictures right here. Wow, it's very nice. If you see a play of light and shadow, it's perfect for black and white. If you see good texture, it's also good for black and white. But check out this view. Your shooting doesn't end when you reach your destination. On your way back, there are a lot of shooting opportunities still. We're on top of the highest mountain in Luzon and so far we're enjoying our landscape projects. We continue by doing a letterbox landscape. Letterbox landscape checklist. Number one, tripod. Number two, use your camera's uh, level display right here. And then make sure that if you do it manually, like I will, the next frame must consist at least 25% of your previous frame. So when you stitch it in Photoshop, you won't get a hard time on post-processing. So let's take some shots. Now I will try to zoom in because I want to show the play of light. So it's a combination now of um, minimalistic landscape and letterbox. Okay, triple combination. Minimalism, black and white, and letterbox landscape all in just one area. See, so you can do these things easily on your next trip. Digital photographer would like to thank Panasonic Video Philippines, Steady Tracker Incorporated, Road Microphones, Francis M. Clothing Company, Diane Cole's Makeup, Vanguard Philippines, Photex Philippines, Pentax Philippines, Canon Philippines, Fujifilm Philippines, Nikon Philippines, Leica Philippines. You know, your shooting doesn't end when you reach your destination. On your way back, there are a lot of shooting opportunities still. Like for example, we are all, uh, we are on our way back now, going to uh, the camp, and I see a lot of texture, shapes, and patterns that are good for monochrome. So shooting monochrome in black and white 
and shooting monochrome and the shallow depth of field. So it's a combination of the projects we are doing. So let's see some action here. Mount Pulak has all of it. On your next adventure, try the simple but amazing landscape projects and you might end up having award-winning images. Don't forget to add us on Facebook at facebook.com slash dppmagazine and who knows, you might be in the show with us. So join us again next Saturday here on Digital Photographer.